Hi, this is Neil. Welcome to Article Reading for Juniors. Today, we're going to read this article about the Golden Gate Bridge and talk about some of the questions that are associated with it over here. This article is basically about the bridge and its history and tells us how it was built and what it was made of. And that's really what the first question is asking, too. The main point of this article is to do what? So what is the main idea of the article? What's it trying to teach you? And I would say it's trying to teach us about the history of the Golden Gate Bridge and about what it's made of and how it was made, because that's the basic structure of the article. So you're going to look for an answer choice that reflects that idea. Does it describe all the different festivals in California? No. It's about the Golden Gate Bridge. So your answer choice is going to mention the Golden Gate Bridge. A is wrong. There is a festival in here, but it's a festival for what? The Golden Gate Bridge, which is the main idea. What about B? Describe the events at this weekend's Golden Gate Bridge Festival. Now that's getting closer to the right answer, but the whole article doesn't tell us about what's happening at some festival. It's telling us about the bridge. The festival is mentioned as a indication of how important the bridge is in Californian history and in American history. What about C? Discuss the traits and history of the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, our prediction was it tells us the history of the bridge, how it was built, and um, what it's made of. And that is more or less what this answer choice says. Traits means things that describe it, what it looks like, what it's made of, um, what color it is, stuff like that. And history is history. Let's choose C, but always read the last answer choice just to make sure that you're not missing out on a better answer. Explain the relationship between the Golden Gate Bridge and diamonds. That's not true. It does mention diamonds, but it mentions diamonds because it's saying the Golden Gate, Gate Bridge is like a diamond. It's something that's amazing and beautiful. Uh, so D is definitely not the right answer. Look at C, click it again, just to be sure, and then let's move on to the next question, which is going to be number five. Down here. Okay, so the prisoners who escaped from Alcatraz Island likely drowned because... Always change it into a real question with a question mark at the end, like this. Why did the prisoners who escaped from Alcatraz prison drown? Go to line 21, and let's try to find out why they drowned. Ask the half dozen men who tried to swim it, or cross it on a makeshift raft made of old raincoats after escaping from the notorious federal prison on Alcatraz Island, which sits just four kilometers east of the strait. Good luck finding those men, those few who made it as far as the cold, swift currents of the Golden Gate Strait were presumed drowned. So they probably drowned because the currents in the Golden Gate Strait, which is a body of water, were cold and swift. So the water is really dangerous there. And it also mentions that up above the quoted portion, but how rough are those waters? And it also says it here in line 15, the rough, fast-moving water. So three times in that paragraph, it tells us that the water is rough and fast-moving. And that's probably what drowned these guys who escaped from Alcatraz. Let's look at the choices. A, the Golden Gate Strait is incredibly dangerous. That sounds pretty, pretty right, because it says the water in the strait is really rough. Let's choose A. But let's look at the answers that follow it, just to make sure there's nothing better. B. They decided to swim the strait instead of raft across it. Well, it does say that some of them used a raft right there. See that? So they did use a raft, but they still drowned. So it wasn't the choice between swimming and rafting. Both of them were super dangerous. It's not B. What about C? They jumped from the Golden Gate Bridge. Doesn't say that says they swam or they went in a raft through the, through the strait, which is really rough water. So it's definitely not C. And they were criminals. Now, they were criminals, but is that why they drowned? No, they didn't drown because they were criminals. They drowned because they were criminals who were swimming in really rough water. So D is a silly answer, and get rid of it. The 
last question we're going to look at is number seven, right down here. The word bash in line seven most closely means what? So what does that word mean in the paragraph? Let's go up here. And what I do when I'm doing questions like this is I kind of pretend that that word isn't there, that word bash. And I read the sentence like there's a blank and think, how would I fill in that blank? So let's read that question. There's a huge festival, and you should probably start a little up. There's a huge festival coming up this weekend in California. That's not breaking news, since California may hold more festivals than any other place on Earth. It throws them to honor artichokes, garlic, butter, eggs, olives, mustard, ducks, frogs that jump competitively. There's even a fungi festival to celebrate edible mushrooms. But they all pale in comparison with this weekend's blank, honoring the 75th anniversary of the opening of the Golden Gate Bridge. We can probably stop there. So it's comparing these festivals with this weekend's blank honoring the opening of the Golden Gate Bridge. What's something that honors something called? I call it a party, like your birthday party. It honors your birthday. Or an anniversary party honors your anniversary. Or a graduation party honors your graduation. So this party is honoring the anniversary of the opening of the bridge. So I'm going to look for something that means festival, because again, it's comparing these other festivals with the Golden Gate Bridge Festival, or party. So festival, party, something like that. Look at the choices. Abuse. Now, bash can mean to hit someone, like I bashed uh, my friend in the face accidentally. But that's not what's going on here. It's not abusive, it's a party. So it's not a assault. That's kind of the same thing. It's like hitting someone. So that's not going to be right either. Get rid of that. Collision. Bash could be a collision, like he bashed his car against the uh, telephone pole, but not in this case. In this case, you're looking for party. Fortunately, D is exactly what we're looking for, party. So you choose that, you get it right, and you throw yourself a party because you did so well on this article's questions. Now, I hope you enjoyed the article, and I hope you have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and if you have any more questions, go to the forum link down here, or send us an email through readingcare.com. Again, have a good night.